Okay, a value voter means something about the sanctity of life. Our principles are first, protecting innocent human life, protecting women from being exploited by abortion. Okay. Understanding the sanctity of the family as well, not governments. Government isn't the answer, the answer is family. Uh, promoting laws that would protect women and children. All those things are first. Recognizing that marriage is between a man and woman. We are for something. We're for marriage. Mr. Huckabee, Governor Huckabee, just gave a very rousing talk without protecting the innocent human life, beginning, conception, all the way through natural death. All other rights are uh, in jeopardy. Making it constitutionally clear that life begins at conception. So if Huckabee's the values voters poster boy, what do they think about Hillary? At the same time, she's espousing the destruction, the elimination, the death of millions of children. So, you know, you can't have it both ways. Hillary's not inevitable. Hillary will not win. There's only, at yeah. most, 42%. That's, that's her best. She's got 50% negative. So then Huckabee has a 93% negative? I mean, she's not going to get the men's vote. And if any women knew her, really, they wouldn't vote for her either. I mean, she's scary. She is scary. She's very bright. She's very intelligent. She's very savvy. And they have a lot of money. And they have a lot of power. But, end of the day, the people of this country are going to protect this country. And they're going to vote for the right person. We are for something. We're for marriage. We eventually will win because we are having the children and they are not. And eventually the role factor will take effect. There's a role factor? Well, duh. People who believe in life are having children. People who don't believe in life are not having children. So as long as I do my job as a father and my wife does her job as a mother and we raise our 11 children to be strong pro-life citizens, in another 10 years, well, maybe another 15 years, there'll be 13 votes, as opposed to just two. So you, lots of babies. Liberals? Gays? None? Children would be harmed by the deliberate creation of permanently motherless and fatherless homes. Wait a minute. How come I haven't heard of this on the news? Uh, gay activists know that the media are a fully owned subsidiary of the gay rights movement. Uh, did you hear the line about gays are being denied the right to get blood? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Is, is the Red Cross bigoted because they don't want to risk more lives? Actually, no. The FDA is, and has been since 1985 when the Republican-controlled administration decided it would not let openly gay men give blood. The Red Cross has nothing to do with it. But that's ancient history. What about something a little more recent? Like, say, this week? I especially don't agree with the Democrats on the war. I think their, um, their, their opinion of, of where the war should be is terribly wrong for this country. I really like Brownback. Um, I think he, he stands for a lot of great things this country needs. I just um, I was kind of sad to see him go yesterday when he got out of the race. But he, he, he's a great man. I think he does a lot of work. I think we really need him in the Senate. Um, you know that he's for getting out of Iraq. Oh, no, I didn't know that. I knew Ron Paul was, but I didn't know the Brownback was.